Proverbs chapter 2, beginning at verse 7. In the King James it says, He led up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. Verse 8 through 10 says, He keepeth the path of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment. How many of y'all see that? It says, Then shall you understand righteousness and judgment. Now, I want to stop right there and go to the CV. Are you ready? It says, God gives helpful advice to everyone who obey him and protects all those, somebody say all those, who live as they should. God sees that justice is done, and he watches over everyone who is faithful to him. With wisdom, you will learn what is right and honest and fair. Wisdom will control your mind. And you will have, look at that verse here, y'all ready? And you will, watch this, and you will be pleased with knowledge. Verse 7 is where my message is coming from. It says, God gives helpful advice to everyone who obeys him. And he protects all those who live as they should. My message for today is simply titled, Start Living Like You're Supposed To. It says, I need to start living like I supposed to. You can be seated. Amen. You heard Tony's testimony. You heard mine. Make a long story short, we weren't living like we supposed to. Coming up when uh, adults tried to tell us how to do right from wrong, we didn't want to hear. When we came of age, we still didn't want to respect authority figures and listen. We didn't want to abide by a law of the land. We wanted quick money. We wanted to get high to escape. Somebody say, man, like you mean. Somebody say, get high to escape. But I want to tell you something, the higher you get, the deeper in there you get. You, you, when, you, when you overcome the high, you still got the same stuff to deal with, you know, like you had before you got high. In other words, uh, what you're going through is, is like tripled or doubled. Somebody say praise God up in here. We, we, we do these drugs and stuff to escape, and, and, and we don't have time for work. Because uh, work ordained by God, true enough, but we don't have time for work because, you know, at the workplace, we got people, once again, telling us what to do. We grow up with parents telling us what to do. Somebody say, what to do. Went to school, we had people telling us what to do. With the church, we got people telling us what to do. And now we got God through his word telling us what to do. Now, the Bible said we didn't listen to these people who are telling us what to do. If we listen to those people who are speaking as led by the Holy Ghost, if we listen to them, we live a long time upon the face of the earth. If we listen to them, we won't have testimonies like, like Tony's, praise God. People trying to tell us what to do. God gives helpful advice to everyone who listens. God gives helpful advice to those who listen to the Holy Spirit. If only you will listen, if only you will obey, I, the Lord God, will make you rich. We ain't just talking about with money. I'm talking about rich on the inside. God begins to work on the, on the interior first. And then he begins to work on the exterior. God, by his spirit, will begin to clean you up. Somebody say clean you up. Clean up your spirit. Clean up your soul. Clean up your mind. You'll find yourself thinking like God thinks. You'll find yourself wanting to do what God said do. When God begins that cleansing process, you learn to learn to, 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 to love your neighbor as yourself because you love God with, with all your heart. You learn how to respect God's women. Wait a minute, it says, it says God gives helpful advice. <coughs> God gives helpful advice to everyone who obeys him and protects all those who live as they should. So he protects those who live as they should. So those who don't live as they should, what happens? 
They find themselves without the protection, without the covering. They find themselves with lack, great lack. They find themselves alone. Somebody say alone. They are those who are alone. They're going to be alone for a while. Somebody say amen. They got those who are going to be alone. I hate to say it. They got those who, who are going to be poor for a long time. Somebody say poor for a long time. They are those who are going to be locked up for a long time. Praise God. Praise God. There are those who are going to wrestle with that addiction for a long time because they haven't learned to listen to helpful advice. Well, you might say, Pastor James, I, 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 I'm doing the best that I can. I'm doing. See, once again, use that word I. God wants to clean your house. You work out your own soul salvation. You feel the power of God cleaning out your house. It says that God gives helpful advice to everyone, not some of them, everyone who obeys him, who obeys him, who obeys him. It says he protects all those who live as they should. God is saying, look, live like you're supposed to live. Live like I taught you to live. Well, I don't know how to live because, you know, people live in different ways. Now, on the streets, you know, they live one way on the streets. And, you know, in the church, you know, they live, in, you know, one way in the church. And they, they're some boring people. So, the church folks, they don't do nothing. They don't go nowhere. They can't talk. Nobody can do nothing. I mean, but, you know, you don't understand church people. Let's talk about Jesus people. Jesus, how Jesus people live. We always supposed to be helping somebody, talking, and trying to get somebody saved and, and being a blessing, trying to win souls to the kingdom. We deny ourselves. Somebody say amen. We put our lives and our ministry and our family in the hands of God. Somebody say amen. Somebody say in the hands of God. How do we live? Yeah, we can do things. We can go places. I came up, they say that we shouldn't be watching TV. I watch television. I ain't gonna lie. I watch movies. I like to watch classic movies. I got my movie time. I got my family time. I got my, my church time. Praise God. I got my time for, for talking to people and all that. Because I got my... My life in, 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 in order. I, I got management going on. Somebody say, man. I got time for my grandkids. Somebody say, man. But I'll never forget the first lesson I learned. My mom told me not to steal. Somebody say, man. Matter of fact, the Bible says, for, for the one it who has God stolen, gives helpful advice to everyone who obey him and he protects all those who live as they should and I'm not just talking about whether or not you drink I'm not talking about whether you do drugs or not right now I'm not talking about it are you communicating with him are you trying to get your relationship tight with him are you seeking him Lord have mercy Jesus Christ Lord have mercy the scripture says, seek me early. You need to go on that trip right now. Start looking, start searching. Start asking questions. Start talking to him. Wait a minute, it says, it says God gives helpful advice to everyone. Everyone, everyone who obeys him and he protects them. He protects them when they obey. And all those who live as they should, he protects them because they're obeying him. God sees that justice is done. Justice is done for those who obey him. Somebody say, obey him. Think about all the injustice going on in the world. Somebody ain't been listening. Whenever you find somebody, a whole bunch of stuff going on wrong. Chance on the English. Hate to say it. He said, I protect all those who will listen to me. I protect all those who obey me. You see, that begins with desire. God said, I'll give you the desire of your heart. Do you even want to get there? Do you want to? It begins with desire. Do you want to get there? Do you want to find out what do? Do you want what he say he got? Wait a minute. It says, it says, God sees that justice is done to, and he watches over everyone. Somebody say everyone. Who is faithful to him. With wisdom you will learn what is right. Because you don't know what's right. 